Martin, can we take a few minutes and talk about how this whole glycemic index thing is relevant to uh, today's society, the, our eating habits, the North American diet, the uh, problems people have with, uh, with their health? Indeed we can. Well, I would say this. The industrialized method of producing foods is actually delivering to us food-like substances that are very high in calories and fairly low or very low in nutrients. It used to be that long ago there was lots of minerals and lots of polyphenols and other healthy um, substances in food. But when you start putting in refined foods, refined grains especially, that have been grown on fertilized fields that have been essentially depleted of micronutrients, we'll end up with foods that are pretending to be nourishing, but all they deliver is calories. So we are now seeing the effect of this high calorie, low nutrient ratio of food, because we are now seeing illnesses that are related to the metabolic collapse. And these, these illnesses uh, have names like uh, cardiovascular disease, uh, high blood pressure, cancer is on the list as well. All of these diseases are related to the breakdown and collapse in the food production system. We have food that is now cheaper than it's ever been, and we're getting about as much as what we're paying for it, as in the value is really low, if not negative. So for, for a regular consumer, it's really important to focus on foods that are not promoted by the major governmental policies. And these are fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, especially organic, because they will be free of pesticide, herbicide, and other harmful toxins that come with food. All of this will help a person manage the glycemic index and not end up on the statistic that says, obesity, diabetes, and other inflammatory disease that I mentioned earlier.